think most people will immediately recognize within their own lives that emotion does influence their behavior and also influences their decisions. Now, an emotion may improve your decision making because associated with emotion is a sharpening of your senses and it may be optimal to go with your emotions. But a lot of the time emotions serve as a barrier to a good decision. So in many situations you can get violations of what we call rationality by virtue of the effect of an emotion. So an example of that, which is frequently given, is how you present information. So you can present information in a positive or negative light, the exact same information. An example might be as follows. I have two treatments. 600 people have got this disease. If I use treatment A, 200 people will be saved. If I use treatment B, 400 people will die. If you ask people which treatment would they opt for, most people will say treatment A. That effect is an effect of emotion because I have presented the same information. So there should be no difference in the decision in relation to the treatment. But because I've presented one in a positive frame, the other in a negative frame, I'm more attracted or pulled towards the positive frame. 200 people will live versus the negative frame, 400 people will die. So that's a very simple example. More pervasive example would be as follows. Um, you're told that you have to fly somewhere tomorrow. You're fearful of flying. You're informed by a world-leading statistician that the risk associated with flying is far less than walking down the street, getting in your car, getting on your bicycle, all things you might do without even thinking about it. Despite that information, your rationality, your people with a phobia of flying, will not get on the plane. That's an example of an emotional state trumping your reason.